Loads of racks of nine ball, loads of matches. Each player has played 29 matches to get to this point. Yeah, Carl, I feel like I've played about 100 matches. We've uh, put the work in this week, and it's been so much fun. The crowd is excited, and so are we. This is what it's all about. Here's the lag for break. Well, the referee's getting a little bit excited. Yeah, they've been almost perfect this week. Hence, almost. Okay, it's a race to seven. SVB will start the first semi-final on table one. Copigny will start the second semi-final on table two. Oh, and that's the break right there, Carl. That is the break. He's got a good shot on the two. The pink four down here might have an issue with the eight. He can manage. Well, we've seen the, the balls of the pool tables in the background where the fans have been playing, clattering about. Everyone's been enjoying this pool room vibe. That's why the Premier League was brought to a pool room, all the lights have been switched off. It's deadly silent. Yeah, the tension in here is real. And I know my colleague has mentioned it. It's a race to seven. I'll say it one more time. It's now a race to seven. Has he fallen a little flat? Does he need to punch below? the purple five and take his chances that's what he's gonna do well he's caught it and he got a little flick on the five and it's helped him still got a bit of work to do here big favorite to make the combo but it's getting the cue ball and the pink four to dress up nicely for the next shot yeah it looks like he might draw backwards Yeah, well said, Scott. He did that to give himself a better chance of landing on that pink four ball. So, a big shot here coming up for SVB. Top left corner. Well, that's a good sign, Carl, right down the middle. Doesn't matter how many matches Shane's played this week. He's been relentless on the practice table. Knocking that four ball in in this first semi-final does anyone the world of good. Another big shot. He's hit it clean. Notice these balls going in the middle. Is he up for the challenge? We know he wants to win. He's given it everything he's got this week. And then some I've never seen anybody practice like this man this has has this week and I know you haven't either it's been astonishing it's been wild Scott it's been absolutely madness I didn't think things like that could happen you know yeah. go get yourself a bit of dinner and chill out not for Shane no it's, it, it was really staggering never left the building never left the practice table up and down confident stroke Looking good in game number one. SVB with a beautiful clearance here in the opening rack. And there you get a good look at the room and we've got a look at table two. Filler versus Copin Yi. This is also a race to seven, right, Carl? And it's simultaneous with table one. Yeah, you've got to make sure you pot the ball there. It's easy to forget about the seven because 
you know the cue ball's going into the nine. Fillers, well, he's one of the greats, so you don't expect him to fall down in that department. He needs to get a bit of power into this cue ball, though. It's going to be going forward. Looks like Filler is going to get the job done over on table two, the first rack. And he does. If you want to see how that match goes, we will keep going back and forth to it, but you can watch it live, Matchroom Multisport, on YouTube. Wow. It's a little steep on the two, but you can't ask for much more. Six finished a little funny. I've really enjoyed watching Ko Ping Chung play this week. He really stands out when he's playing good, and I haven't really seen him play bad since he won the U.S. Open, Carl. Yeah, he's really moved into the top tier bracket. Me and JJ had this chat in the last match. Just a real smooth operator. Needs a little bit of luck here. Yeah, do you think he played to go into the three or did he try to come up and down? Yeah, it's not often nine ball pool players start crashing into balls if they can avoid it. So you have to feel like that positional shot did go wrong. I don't believe he can cut this ball in. Looks very thin. Well, he probably could. Yeah, and the shot clock. A factor. He's going to take his extension. I thought there on the blue two, going back to it, I thought he could spin into the six softly and move the six up and get a shot on the three in the lower right. But that's long past us now he's going to play the defensive side he's going to the air again Carl do you think he's going into the ball it's not often you, you play the kick and stick with the jump cue, is it? The ball's bouncing. Yeah, he's definitely going to go into the ball. I did say, I think if there was anything Shane suffered with this week, it was probably the jump cue. Yeah, it seems like the accuracy is just a little bit off. I want to catch that full, I think, and get distance. Not easy by any means, though. Little Co. Going to be queuing over the nine. Ten. He just constantly seems to come with the big shot, though. Ooh, that's a little wide, isn't it? That's worrying for the back arm. That kind of throw your body at them when... When the ball hits where it did. Wow, Joshua Filler. He's human, Carl. He missed the eight and left it right here in the pocket. Ten. Ten. Yeah, so coping ye looks like he's going to. Get a little freebie. That's the beauty of nine ball. You can pot all the balls. You can miss one near the end. Your opponent just steps up, pots a couple of balls, and wins the rack. Yeah, that's how we like to play, Carl. Just lay them up for us, and we'll clean it out. SVB. Got to get on the five correctly for the green six. Needs to carry. Do you think he'll go below the eight off the back rail, or can he just draw over? That's a good question. It all depends, but he's going to do what you said. 
Hicks is still a tester. He'd like to have been a little more straight. You can see here, though, the six isn't frozen. That makes this ball a lot easier. Yeah, if the six ball's touching the rail, it can be uh, an awful shot to play, can't it, Scott? Yeah, things nightmares are made of. But that's past him. Oh, he's falling flat again here, or the forward angle. He didn't want it. You can see he's not thrilled about it. He's going to have to keep this pace up. He knows little Co is right behind him, and this needs to keep the pace up. It's a little bit short, but it's more than achievable. He can afford to glance the rail as well. At this angle. Does it need a rail? These balls are going into the heart of the pocket. SVB. He has this ability to zone in when it matters. And this matters is semi-final action. One game apiece here on table two. Big Co on the blue two. Might be going at this in the lower right. Notice the three up top. Okay, he's going to stitch him up behind the nine. Oh, what great speed that was. I thought he might be able to play a two-way to the lower right, send a cue wheel up table because of the red three. But he knows better. Yeah, he's got the brake dialed down as well. Scott needs a bit of luck here. It's not happened. Yeah, this is something that's happened to many of the players. They'll get the brake down. The two's random. But a lot of times this week we've seen it finish magically right by the cue ball. Yeah, you often see Shane tinker with the brake. He can brake at a medium pace. He can brake hard. Sometimes he uses his playing cue like he just did in that break. Oh, very well observed. And you typically don't want to see or the players don't like to push out when they're so close to the object ball in order. But this might be one of those situations He's going to play his extension. Trying to find the window and bounce the two ball back out. This is a good shot. Yeah, very good shot. He was aware of where the three was, right? So if he didn't get the snooker, things would still be a little bit difficult for him. Yeah, they're touchy little shots then when you're just trying to float up in between a gap it's easy to dig into the cue ball oh, good look at SVB right there as well as Co gets ready to jump at the two how's he going to finish it's not going to finish too good. Yeah, I saw a video on YouTube yesterday of Shane practicing this bank on these tables in here. Not saying he's going to take it on. I don't know if there's any value to it anyway. But U.S. Open bank pool winner. U.S. Open one pocket winner just a few weeks ago. He could definitely bank this in. Looks like he might be cutting it, Carl. Well, he has banked it in. He got the 
Rub on the pink. You will have a shot on the three, Carl. It's a big shot to have in your locker, the bank shot. A lot of players are good at the bank shot, but Shane's one of these guys who he knocks them in consistently. Surely he's not going again. Can cut it in the corner. Ooh, oh, he's overcut it, Scott. You could see as soon as the cue went through. Yeah, it looked like his arm dropped just a fraction. All that is is eight straight days of pool and a lot of balls hit. Just maybe a little fatigue. I think there's going to be some fatigue from all four of these guys, to be honest. That's part of what this event's all about. Well, let me tell you, there's some fatigue in the commons box, Scott. It's been a long <laughs> gold week. I'll look at where the eight is finished. Making things a little bit more difficult. He's got a huge pocket down here on the lower left with the seven. He's having none of it, Scott. He's playing safe. I think he's playing the combo. No, he's playing safe. Well, you're right. Fatigue in the com box <laughs> is real. Not only is he playing safe, he's playing safe, safe. Look at this one. But he has left a, a two-rail kick in behind the four ball. Kick and stick coming up. May even pot it in the left middle. Probably doesn't want to. Oh, he's caught it too thin. And that shouldn't work out for SVB. Is the eight in play here? He'd like to come three rails. Oh, just misses it. Very, very nice. Getting the extension out. Cue ball barely got there for the five. I think if he hits it any harder, he might go into the eight. That was the concern. Played the bump. Didn't really have much option. And it doesn't look like it's come out great. Maybe able to go rail first, Scott. Yeah, he might be able to play the carom as well. Six is close to frozen. Let's see what he decides. Where's did the cue ball? Did he play the six through the seven? What a clever shot. key to this shot is to make sure you stay very still because you want the cue going through straight in a straight line through the cue ball job well done yes it was Ko Ping Chung looking to get on the board He's missed the nine, and it's laid up in front of the middle, Carl. Wow. If you do not get good on the nine ball, now and again, at certain points of your career, you will miss balls. He didn't even hit a single jaw there, Scott. He missed that by a mile. Look where the nine ball has finished. SVB with a freebie. And it is a freebie. How big of a moment have we got here? We've seen Coping Chung play eight days of perfect pool. And he's just missed one of the easiest nines of the week. It's SVB three, Coping Chung zero.
This is table two action. Coping Yeet is at the table. He's currently leading Joshua Filler 2 1. Mm. Needs the cue ball to keep running. It's a little bit short. It's live on Matru in Multisport. It's also a race to seven. And just look at the crowds. You can see in the distance all the pool table lights have been switched off. All eyes are on these semi finals. And doesn't matter where you sat, it's like a VIP ticket. That was what was being offered for this year's Premier League pool, and that gives you the best seat in the house for both tables. Yeah, Carl, and I think for the last minute and a half, you and I have kind of been stunned. I don't think that it was anything serious on the nine that he missed. I think it was just a slight lack of concentration, and that's all it takes on these tables, and that just gives you an idea how great these guys have been playing. Coping Chung, the last guy on earth we thought would miss that nine. Yeah, it just kind of come from nowhere, didn't it? I mean, Shane's obviously played awesome the first two racks, and Coping Chung took out a nice finish. And the nine ball that he missed, well, he's got to regroup. Anyway, big bro. He's doing okay on the other table. 3 1 up over Filler now. Yeah, and I expect him to regroup. That's what they do. That nine is forever forgotten. At least for right now. Well, is he looking at a 2 7 combo? This is not easy if he is, believe me. Oh, wow. That was special. And what better way to redeem yourself mentally and physically? It would be very easy for, for Cole to turn down that shot, play something different. Maybe even play a, a push out just because of the previous shot in the nine. But what he's done there is he's showed a lot of heart. And he's trying to get back into this semi-final. He's got time because it's now a race to seven. Yeah, and let's not forget. Last game, Shane missed the three. So, besides the nine that was given up to him, the last ball that he played, he missed. So, both of these players having their ups and downs in this match. Ko Ping Chung looks to be right back on track. I, I love to watch his delivery, Carl, going through the ball. He's got a special way about him. Slightly overrun the cue ball here. If he was a little straighter, guaranteed position onto this eight ball. Now he's got to leave himself something where his mind it will be thinking about that nine ball. Yeah, I think he can reach it okay. Yeah, he can dig down on this good. It looks like he's going to come two rails tight for the nine in the lower right. He's missed this as well. This is back-to-back -back massive misses. I didn't like the shot on the eight, Scott. I think you should float it for the nine in the same pocket. I, I just didn't like this. Yeah, and it's probably a personal preference shot. But shocking that he's missed these two balls this poorly just shows you though the cue ball is usually so good he landed a little bit funny on that six ball he couldn't get straight or just off straight on the eight he had to leave himself that little tester baby co well he's going through the motions at the minute yeah, this is a big shot for svb he's got to keep him covered up here and he's gotten past the side which is important I don't know if he's got him completely snookered. Well, I think he's played a, a real good safety shot there. I don't believe many players would play it that way, Scott. Yeah, and his intention was to definitely get it past the side so that 
little Co couldn't jump it in the right middle. He's used that bare ball well, the nine. He could make this. Yeah, I had the feeling he could make that ball. That's what champions do. Made a couple easy mistakes. He was just a fraction off. Yeah, as soon as I seen the eight ball tracking Scott, I thought he'd made that jump shot. That was a nice shot on the cue ball from Shane to, to leave himself this nine ball where there's no danger. Yeah, and a couple small gifts for SVB. Well, Scott, I'm sure SVB is as shocked as the rest of us in this building. This match could have easily been 2-2, but it's not. It's 4-0 to Captain America. Over on table two, well, complete different contrast because Coping Yi, well, he doesn't seem to be having a mare like that man, his younger brother. What must he be thinking sat in that chair, Scott? He's played so much pool. He's been brilliant. Yeah, we haven't seen anything like this from him all week, and I've never seen a sign of negativity. He's kind of slumped. You've got to believe that he's tired, okay? We always go to that, but you've got to believe it. This man has played, like, perfect pool for the last year. So a little shocking to us, but it's also kind of relieving to us, right? And for everybody at home, he's human. We're all human. And SVB, well... He'd like to break and run here and get a big lead. Nine balls close. The bumblebee nearly went into <laughs> the side pocket. Yeah, and it was extremely close. Got the kiss from the cue ball. Well, the bank is covered up, Carl. Well, the purple five. Is he going to come below the three? Looks like he might be. I was wondering if that laid okay. I think he's good there, uh, Scott. I think he's good. This will give us a better feel of it. Just watch where the cue ball comes to rest. Is it touching the four? Yeah, and that's the kind of shot you've got to be at the table at. You've got to really feel it. It's got to be laying correct to get that object ball out of the way. Ten. Took a chance. Need some help off the pool gods. Shane gives him the tap of approval. Sometimes you've just got to fram at it. Is it possible to get the cue ball in behind the nine here, Scott? I don't know. I'm wondering if he's... He may have a go at it, you know. Or he's tried to get behind the nine like a thought. Yeah. Reminiscent of the shot David Alcady shot early in this event. A pool player. They don't miss a trick. Look at the eight ball we have just witnessed over on table two. What is going on with the Cole brothers? Well, could it be contagious? I mean, you've got to believe that they both know what's going on with each other. That can't be easy. And I've never seen Filler miss an eight like that in my life. So what's going on in the building? Are you still with us, Carl? I'm in shock. Ko Pin Chung and Joshua Filler and Ko Pin Yi are three of the best pocketers in the sport of nine ball. Some of the balls we have seen missed so far. I don't know if it's because the, the event has took a slightly 
different dynamic, you know, we've we've gone to a race to seven, they've been playing all week, all the lights have been switched off, we've gone from this busy pool hall noise to this, like, all eyes on the table, I don't know. Yeah, and that's a really good point, that's a very big possibility, Carl, that's an actually a very big possibility, everything's kind of changed in the room, you can feel the tension in the air, and I guarantee you the players can feel it as well. Um, this isn't going to be any good for Co. Yeah, Shane Van Bowen's a different beast when he gets in front. He's one of the best front runners, along with Joshua Filler. Yeah, you've talked about Filler out for blood when he smells it. Van Bowen, no different. Needs a little bit of help here, Filler. He's not going <coughs> to get it. He's missed a big trick here. After coping, he missed the eight ball. Phil had a chance to get to just one behind as he missed the trick. Mm. Yeah, a little weak from SVB. It's going to be okay. He's so close to the ball, so close to the side. Coping, Yi. Four to one. Big moment there over on table two. Oh, this looks thin, Carl, and he got so flat on the four. Can he hold this? Somebody's phone went off in the background. I don't even know if Shane knows that or not. Really, the issue here is how steep he is on this five. Yeah, pool players were used to things like this. You know, we've been brought up in the pubs and the pool halls. The main thing is when something like that puts you off, you just get back up, reset, regroup. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good from where he was. And it's going to finish on the bottom of the rail so he can go forward as well, Carl. Yeah, he's, he's made that shot look a lot easier than it was, hasn't he, Scott? You alluded to the fact that he was quite thin on the five ball. He's a man on a mission here. He is a man on a mission. Yeah, I don't think anybody could have expected a 5 nothing lead out of the gate in this race to seven. It was a little help. Obviously, a nine missed by Co was huge. Well, this is going to be tough for Ko Ping Chung now. He might be the current US Open champ, but it's the five time champ who's showing him how it's done. It's 5 0 at the moment. Scott, we couldn't see this coming, could we? No, didn't expect a couple of these misses that we've seen. We didn't expect a 5-0 to zero lead either. I did expect SVB to really kind of step it up if he could. He squeaked in to the final four and really wants to turn it on, wants to finish this event out in style. If he doesn't win, he doesn't win, but he wants to play good. He's just that type of guy. Did Filler come up short on the eight? Yeah, Joshua Filler, it, he's just not quite at the races at the minute. I don't know if, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, Scott. I really don't. He really let up in that backswing there, and we talked about it all week. He's like the last guy that will ever let up. Is he going at this? Oh, what a hit, Carl. What that, a hit. That was thin. That was extremely thin. That might get him going. Not clinical from Filler. But the score's 4-2 and there's no pictures on a scorecard. Yeah, and then you get into this position. You're behind five games to zero. You've got a tough shot to open this rack up. He's having a hard time getting set. Do you feel he's got to be aggressive? Uh, 
very, very clean with the touch. To hold that cue ball was not easy. Well, it's now or never. Looking to come one rail up. Oh, and he's overstunned that ball. Did it get there? I don't believe it's gotten there. And the reason that that ball stopped where it did is that he hit too much high and too hard, right? The cue ball just kind of killed in the center. It's a medium hit that you've got to hit to get that ball down table to allow that cue ball to work. And this is really close. Kick and stick. Oh, what a play that was. What a play that was. Did not look like he had room to even get behind that ball. There's Emily Fraser sat in Scott's chair. Scott's been sat there all week as well. <laughs> it's actually Jason Shaw's chair, but Jason hasn't been sitting in there all week. Oh, wow. How clever is this shot? How clever is this shot? Look at this kick shot. Kicking it over towards the purple five. The little flick on the green did help. Yeah, but the speed he played it at tells me that he was trying to get the cue ball covered up. He's trying to stop the cue ball where the pink ball is. This is not easy. Oh, and a beautiful play here as well. I think it might leak out. Well, the point could have helped him, not certain. I think SVB may be able to jump over the edge of the ball. He's not got much ball to fly over, Scott. You expect any player in the top eight to get this close to the pocket. Yeah, I agree. He's going to get it close. I have mentioned he struggled with the jump cue. This is a sliver of a ball he's got to get over. Really, I think the only thing you can do wrong here, Carl, is over-accelerate or over-amp. Well, on this angle, it looks tougher, but I think that's just the camera. Oh, he's really elevated. Might be tougher than we think. Yeah, the angle that the four ball goes towards the pocket makes it a little bit bigger. I'm not saying he needed a bigger pocket. There's the replay. No, that went in the heart of the pocket. Yeah, no questions there. Notice the eight below the lower left. He did knock it over there. And, you know, it's just one little thing that might dial him in. It could have been that kick. It could have been something much earlier. I'm sure he was up for the challenge before the match started. But sometimes he gets much more dialed as he goes. And that's who I'm seeing right now. This really bounced on him. Yeah, he did not want to be flat. This has all of a sudden become extremely difficult. What's he playing here? Might be amping this up. Frosty, that was naughty. That was naughty pool. <laughs> it was a little naughty. And what do you do here? Do you amp this or do you just get the ball down? He's amping that stroke up again. Well, you're seeing why Shane's won five US Opens. I'm not saying he's... You know, landed perfect on the nine ball, but he's played three shots in this rack from the very top draw, Scott. He's overstroked this ball. 
Now well, he's pointed to the left middle. I think somebody should tell him he doesn't have to call it. Um, it's gone awry, Carl. That will frustrate him because he knows he's come with some big shots in rack six. And a lot of you might think he could have cut that in the top left. The angle was much steeper than it looked on camera. We'll be right back, headed to a quick break. Well, that is the face of a man who is winning. He's 5-1 up in this semi-final on table one. He was 5-0 up. He pulled out some beautiful shots in the last rack, but missed the bank on a nine. That gives Ko Pin Chung his first rack. And he really just overamped the eight. He was feeling good. Ooh, got a bad kick from the eight. Come back to haunt him. Yeah, we're going to be seeing a push out here. Nine ball went close again. Actually, in the same spot. With the same kiss. Push. Push call. And it looks like he's pushing to a jump. Yeah, jump or a kick off one rail. Jump doesn't look terrible, right? You're going to get distance. He can use a little cover. I don't know if he wants to draw this back or if he wants to just use the six and seven. Yeah, I don't know if he's right where he wanted to be. Because now he's considering the kick. Well, now he considered the jump again. Ten seconds. I think a lot of good things can happen from here. Table two action. So our second semi final. Coping Yeet is 5 2 up. He's jumping at the two ball. Ten. Ten oh, this will work out okay. This will work out okay. He holds the hand up. Filler is in big trouble. Well, he's lost the cue ball. In the top right corner. What's the six going to do? Yeah. Work left for Van Boning. Start the clock. We alluded on this the other day with ball in hand here. Most players will follow with ball in hand to get to their position point. Just a higher percentage shot versus the draw. Easier to pinpoint the area of the cue ball. Immediately. Not thrilled with where he wanted to be. What do you see with the six ball, Scott? Looks like there's issues for Shane. Well, could you gamble? Draw out with the three and play the four off the eight, or do you not gamble? You can just leave the six where it's at, and play some type of safety. You know, 5-1 lead seems big, but it's not big if you start making mistakes. One at a steeper angle maybe to come into the back of the eight, but the problem is he's going to have a long shot on the five. Big shot coming up for Shane. You could argue maybe it's the biggest shot of this match because if he gets this one right, 
and he gets a shot on the six ball he could be about to go on the hill oh cleanly hit very cleanly hit that sends a message to everybody in the room You have to feel for Co. He's played so good all week. To miss that nine, just so uncharacteristic, absolutely stunned. Then followed up by a missed eight ball. That you thought he played incorrectly when he tried to swing around. A lot of those guys do like to play that eight with a low outside ball. You liked him floating it. Neither here nor there. SVB, he doesn't care. Well, SVB is on the hill. Also on the hill is Co Pin Yee. He's got in a race to seven. Joshua Filler and Coping Chung, they have got their work cut out now, haven't they? Yeah, they sure do. Kind of an unlikely position, I feel like, in both matches. Uh, I would have assumed these were both going to be closer matches. We've had a lot of close matches in the race to five. A couple funny things have happened on both tables. Filler missing that eight that you'd never dream. After a missed eight by Coping Yi, handed it right back. The look of a man who's made many millions of nine balls. And dollars. <laughs> and dollars. Well... He had an open look at the two, and it wasn't going to be the most difficult of shots, but the eight balls took a last roll. We'll see in a minute if that's going to make life real awkward, and it is. Yeah, and typically he's great at this shot. In this scenario, let's see how he handles it. Look at how level he stays. What a play. What an absolute play. To stay in this semi-final. That was a must-make shot. Yeah, and that's all fundamentals, right? Body's still lined up correctly. Went through the ball as good as you can. Everything stayed true to the line. He'll go down fighting, Scott. He's not just going to, you know, play eight days, day and night and just give up that easy. How different this match could have been, Scott, if he'd have potted a couple of balls that you don't expect him to miss. Yeah, good point. Huge, huge swings in these shorter races. You know, the eight and the nine. I mean, really, four game swings. Still alive, Frosty. He is still alive. Yeah, and anything can happen. We've seen it before. 
Nice. 6 2. On table two, Coping Yu looks like he's got ball in hand. The 5 8. The trouble balls in this rack. Does he want to get just below the six? Well, this looks ideal. Just look at where he's got the cue ball off the draw shot. Rather go into the five than the eight here, I believe. Could flick the eight and open the five up. We'll get back to you on that. Back to table one. Van Boning would like to get this over with Carl. Needs a break with a shot. It would have been classic Shane to finish with a golden break. And I don't know that he's going to stay aggressive here. Copigny still at the table tells me he got those balls opened up. And here's a good look. He did go into the five, not the eight. Yeah, one good shot here for Copigny on the six ball. Yeah. Shane wants this to run past the nine, Scott, doesn't he? And he has done. Yeah, you get the sense he wanted to get behind the four as well. I don't know if he could do both without threatening the two to the lower left a little bit more. Cue balls just kept going for Cole there. I suppose it's just make the ball. Cue ball looks like it's guaranteed to be on the eight. He can stun over or he can go forward off the top rail. He'll play it however he prefers to hit this type of shot. Oh, Scott. All because the cue ball landed right in front of the nine. It wasn't easy. Yeah, drama left on table two. Filler with three balls to clean up and get within three. Tough position for Shane here. Wow, he used that corner pocket. Didn't want to catch the nine. Has it turned out okay? Well, Joshua Filler is surviving by the skin of his teeth. 6-3 down now over on table two. Ko Ping Chung, rail first, trying to pot the ball. He's missed it. Needs a little bit of love. Yeah, he's caught it just a fraction thicker than he expected. Very steep to the middle. Can be done. Tells you how steep it was to the middle, and the cue ball was going the wrong direction. He just didn't like it all that much. That's why he played the cross side. A lot of people probably asking why he wouldn't play that to the middle. These side pockets are very, very small. It's a big six ball. Coping <laughs> chunk. Locking SVB up. Yes, he sure is. And this is a tough ball to jump. Ten. He 
has got to get way up. Oh, and he's going to get a little lucky here unless that wires up. A little fortunate there, Carl. Yeah, we have a saying in the game, it pays to hit. And hit is what Shane did. I think regardless of what goes on from the remainder of this match, if Shane goes on to win, you know, Cole's just got to be thinking about the nine ball and that eight ball. Yeah, really, those are the game changers here in this match for certain if Shane goes on to win. What do you put it down to, Scott? You know, he's played all week. Like I said, we've, we've been telling you how many days we've been playing. This is day eight. You know, he's played the afternoon session and tonight session. Played really well. And he's missed the nine and the eight ball just from kind of nowhere. What, why? Why does that happen? Well, I mean, first off, he and his brother are playing in the semifinals, right? And they're playing right next to each other. I don't think the importance has last has been like that all week so once that shines and then one of them makes a mistake they're gonna know it whether you think they're paying attention or not so maybe that builds a little bit but his brother's going on with it Carl he's gonna beat filler seven games to three if he gets this nine down and he has there's the fist pump and there is our first finalist he's gonna be coping yeet Against the winner of this match, we are watching. Phyllis played a great tournament. He'll be back, as always, and it's another high finish for the young German. Yeah, and obviously a favourite all week long, Joshua Filler. He didn't want to clip the eight. Just shows you, Scott, at the top level, any little mistake... You know, poor safeties or a ball that you would expect to pot. You just get punished a lot, don't you? Oh, I've been saying it all week. How great these guys are playing. Oh, the double kiss was the only thing that could save SVB. And he might have the carom here. The nine might go in the lower left. Oh, he just had a look. SVB, is it possible? Nine in the lower right. Could play the bank as well. He's playing the safe. Oh, and that's a, a little higher percentage, obviously, if it doesn't scratch. But he's going to lose the cue ball, Carl. Okay. Start the clock, please. It's a little bit unfortunate. The pocket is always there. It doesn't move. But all you can do is chip off it, Scott. Come to rails and hope you find the correct path. And you can hear the mumbles of the crowd. Coping Chung did not win the US Open because he's got no heart. It was quite the opposite. He showed a lot of heart. And he's going to have to show heart to come back in this match. Yeah, and he's going to need a little assistance from Shane, in my opinion, if the alternate break format continues, which it will. I always think when, you, when you're down in a match like this, Scott, I don't think it's a case of thinking, well, I've got to win five racks I think it's quite the opposite I think it's more well if I win the next two and make it 6-4 my opponent's under a little bit of pressure yeah at this point he's probably playing with not much to lose a little thick there caught the lower left side of that pocket yeah played it pro pace and you've got to wonder if it goes through his mind that it could be he and his brother in, his f in the final. Well, 
Kopin Chung is fighting, he's fighting hard, he's won another rack, it's SVB 6, Kopin Chung 3. Well, the crowd have been treated all week to some fantastic pool and they've had the best seats in the house. That just gives you an idea of what a VIP ticket got you here at US1 Billies. Look how close you are to the action. Yeah, literally breathing over the table. Pretty sure everybody here this week has learned a thing or two. Ko Ping Chung not out of the woods yet. Making a comeback. Watch the cue ball. The pink four ball. Is it touching the five? We'll get a look in a moment from the overhead. If this pink four is touching the five, it's going to be awkward. Oh, wow, Carl. It looks like it might have glued up. It's never easy. See, looking at the three ball combination and to go forward. I mean, there's a possible 2 9. Oh, you called it. But boy, the middles are tight. Well, I'll tell you what, Scott. This doesn't set up bad at all, you know. It does not set up bad at all. You know yourself, Scott, the issue is the fact that the nine is further away from the pocket. So it always just changes the difficulty level of this combo. SVB, the two nine combination to make the final. He's made the final with a combo on the Bumblebee. And what a match. SVB Scott, I thought he played tremendous in that semi-final. Here's another look. Yeah, take a look at this. You called this shot, Carl, and I think it's the right shot. That three-ball combination just wasn't really the deal. He played great this match. He's earned it, and we're looking forward to a killer final. Yeah, it we'll will be, back be a soon, killer. Right, Carl? Yeah, sorry, Scott. I was just going to say he's beat one co. He's got to beat another up yeah, next. That's a good point. We've got the final coming up after a short break. It's going to be SVB versus Co Pin Yee. <laughs> 